Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to start a new hybrid picking lesson series. Now these, these hybrid picking studies are going to be over the course of a few lessons and we're going to take you through lots and lots of patterns that you can practice with that will really just give you a, like a complete hybrid picking workout with your, your right hand. Just so many combinations and some of them we're going to start out relatively simple and get more difficult as we go. Now these studies are based off of uh, Mario Giuliani's uh, 120 right hand studies. Uh, this is a famous classical guitarist about a couple hundred years ago and gu guitarists have been using, classical guitarists have been using these studies to develop their amazing right hand fluidity. So I've adapted these things for hybrid picking for us uh, people who like to use a pick and fingers. Um, so we're going to start out here with a, a small series of six exercises here, six patterns that are at the beginning of his studies. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna go through all 120 of them. I'm gonna go through the ones I feel that are essential to develop uh, good hybrid picking fluidity. And they're great for just uh, getting your, we're not gonna talk about the left hand. This is all that's gonna be going on in the left hand. We're gonna have a C major chord. Basic C major chord. And then we're gonna have a G7 chord. Um, he plays this G7 chord. We're gonna go to the third fret on the sixth, uh, um, the second fret on the fifth, the first fret on the first string, and then your pinky is going to grab the D at the third fret on the second string. Get used to that change. And these first six, we're actually not going to use the sixth string, so you can just leave that out if you like and just do the one through five strings. All right? So let's go through that and this is meant to pay attention to just your right hand that's why we're just going to be going through these chord shapes we're going to take the same patterns across both of those chord shapes and then that'll be one exercise and then another one we're going to do so uh, it may sound boring but it's a great exercise so let's get to it we're going to start out with something that's going to you don't want to skip this is a basic one and this is really good so you can concentrate on the balance of the notes when you're doing hybrid picking we're going to start with the pick at the fifth string, and by the way, all of these studies, all of these are written out. Uh, the tablature for this is going to be at guitarlessons365.com and the Intermediate Guitar Lessons uh, Lessons Archive, okay? So please go there and get that so you can follow along easier. So we have the pick on the fifth string, and then we're going to have, we're gonna just going to use the pick and the middle and ring fingers today. And then the middle finger is going to be on the second string, I mean, and then the ring finger is going to be on the first string. Okay, so just plant those two right there on those strings and we're going to have the pick at the same time and we're going to pick all of that together. If you need some basic, uh, these some more basic studies on how to position your hand and everything, look at my um, earlier hybrid picking videos for just kind of the fundamentals of hybrid picking before you get into this. Okay, so after that initial hit, we're going to take it over the pick. These fingers stay over these two strings and then the pick is going to go over to the fourth string. And then the pick is going to go to the third string, then back to the fourth, I mean, I'm sorry, back to the fifth. So we have this. Then you're going to change chords and then do the same pattern there. So we have this. to approach this stuff is have the two hybrid picking fingers always try to be as stationary over their uh, strings that they're picking as possible and make the thumb be the one that has to move around and change its position so you can see these two fingers are staying over those two strings and the thumb is the one that has to adjust which is it's a lot more stable way of doing it now let's go to exercise number two and this one's going to be the same basic uh, strings and, and fingerings we're gonna how we're gonna move across, but we're gonna roll them now. We're gonna play them one after the other. So we're gonna go pick, then the second string, then first. So remember, leave these two over the string, just doing this, and the pick has to change strings. And then we're gonna move the pick once again across the fifth, fourth, third, and back to fifth. So we got this. Keeping those fingers stationary. The, the finger picking fingers. And make that pick go back. Alright? 
Now we're gonna reverse that. Instead of going second finger going one and then the then the second string of the first, we're gonna go thumb, I mean I'm sorry, that pick, then the first string, then the second string. So we're gonna descend these two fingers, but still keep them in the same position. Alright, so practice that over and over again. And now we get to move around a little bit. We're going to take three strings in little three string groups on these, these three fingers. So we have the thumb on the fifth, I mean, I'm sorry, the pick on the fifth, then the fourth string with your middle finger, and then the third string with your ring finger. So they're all five, four, three, right on three adjacent strings with just straight across. And then you're going to skip to the next three sets of strings, which is going to be four, three, and two. Then the next group of three, which is going to be three, two, one. And then reach back, leaving these fingers here, reach back with your thumb and grab the fifth string. And do the pattern from the fifth string picking. So we have this, we're going straight across. Then change chords, same pattern, back and forth. You have to keep these the shape across. Just make sure those fingers are always over the strings that they're picking. Then we're going to reverse that. Instead of going pick, um, then second finger and ring finger, we're going to reverse it. Go ring finger, middle finger, pick across the exact same sets of strings. This set, this set, this set, and then reach back. This will be a lot easier to follow if you've got the tab. We're going to finish up today's lesson with uh, mixing it up a little bit. We're going to go, we're going to reverse it here, that going across those three strings. So we're going to have the thumb, I mean, I'm sorry, pick. I'm used to doing these things as a uh, classical guitarist, so I keep saying thumb. And then, and then we have the ring finger on the third string, and then the second finger, the middle finger on the fourth. So we've got, still got that three string set, and we're going to take that pattern. Oh, now to these three strings, and then to these three strings. Then you're going to move the whole pattern back down and do it on the first three sets of strings that you did it on. So the whole thing is this. Then change chords and do the same thing. All right, so these are some good shapes to start working on, and you can work them up to really fast speeds, a lot faster than you'd be able to pick across the strings. Plus, um, we're keeping the, le the left hand boring, I know. It's about being able to make, get fluency to be able to do whatever you want with hybrid picking. So whatever comes to your mind with the hybrid picking, all the little, all the little single note stuff. All that kind of stuff is a piece of cake after doing this kind of stuff, which is much more difficult. You're dealing with larger patterns of groups. All right, so stay, uh, so practice these, get them up to speed, get them comfortable, because it's gonna get a lot more difficult. The next lesson, we're gonna start incorporating the pinky into the picking patterns, all right? So I'll see you guys there. Please go to guitarlessons365.com and support the site in any way you can. And uh, let me know what you wanna see, all right? Talk to you guys soon, bye-bye.